Hello, welcome to part one of our Heihachi Basics Guide. Reminder that this is game version 4.2. This first part, we will be focusing on essential moves. Then in part two, we'll talk about basic or common game plan elements. And finally, in part three, we'll go over some quick referential items like punishers and combos. A quick note that these guides are meant for beginners or those looking for the briefest of overviews on how a character functions. If you're brand new to Tekken and don't understand all of the terminology, jargon, and so forth, I highly recommend the Tekken 7 System Basics Guide on this channel which is broken into six parts for easier viewing. You can find links to those as well as a couple of other good beginner resources in the video description below. At the very least, take a look at notations so that you can follow along easier. And as always, there's a link to the written version of this guide down there too, should you need it. You'll also notice that this is one of the shorter essential moves lists since Heihachi is very good at doing a lot with a relatively small move list. In any case, that's it. So let's talk about our last Mishima, the granddaddy himself. Per the usual, we'll save Raijin and Heihachi's crouch dash while standing full crouch stuff for part two. Hei's one and one two are standard, but he has a couple string options to give you more initiative. He has the classic Mishima one one two. One one is only negative one on block, so poke with that and then confirm the final hit if the one one connects. Hei's one one two also gives a true wall splat, unlike the other Mishimas, so very scary at the wall. One two two slide one plus two is a cancel into his one plus two, a safe power mid palm. Again, something to give you more mental frames on one two. You can use one two four in a similar way as well. Well, it just ends with a high. 2-2-1-2 two, two, two gives you the same thing, still a 10 frame start. And for more quirkiness, you can cancel the 1 plus 2 into a small misstep with up or down. 1 back 2 is your best option though, a safe natural combo on counter hit, high mid string. At only negative 2, you have lots of set of options, so you'll see this a lot and should use it a lot. 1 plus 2 is an I-12 knockdown splatting power mid, same move as the jab ender we just mentioned. Negative 10 when done from the neutral, which isn't at all terrible still for such a quick splatting mid. 4-2 is a safe I-15 high, but a couple string options here. Once again, you can cancel to your palms with 4-2 slide 1 plus 2, which you can again cancel to the misstep, and safe this time, just like from the jabs. 4-2-3 is the real juice though. Super safe at negative 2, high mid, natural combo. Very similar to 1 back 2, except no counter hit needed, and you get a knockdown for a free forward 4-2, although the timing for that is tight. It's also much more delayable, and the second hit will launch on counter hit, and it can wall splat. It's just a crazy good string. 4-3 is an I-18 rangy power mid, knockdown splat on hit, counter hit launch, only negative 2 at worst on block. This is the same move as the second hit of 4-2-3 that we just mentioned. So in the open, you still get a free forward for a 2 on hit, although the timing is strict. One of his best moves for sure. Forward 4 is an I-20 power mid, plus 4 on block, plus 7 on hit, and forces crouch in both instances, and it will slam on counter hit. If it hits a croucher, you get plus 13 for a free down forward 1-2, but the plus 4 on block still makes down forward 1 uninterruptible. Insane pressure tool. Down forward one is an I-13 mid poke, only negative one on block, massive plus nine on hit. Down forward one one is a safe natural combo, but ends high. Down forward one two is a mid mid natural combo, but unsafe on block. Hayes down forward one is really strong because of those enders. Down forward one two in particular is a great punisher since it does beefy damage and will knock down splat on hit, making it an incredible threat at the wall. You will be using this a lot. Down forward 2 is a safe I-15 mid counter hit launcher, the classic Mishima Electric Wing Godfist bailout, but generally good as a quick counter hit tool. Down forward 1 plus 2 is a mid power crush, quite unsafe at negative 14 and not particularly fast, but it does have good range and it's his only power crush, so worth noting for that reason. Down forward four is a safe I-12 mid poke, negative six on block plus five on hit, very generic but a really good poke because of the speed and safety. Down one is an I-16 safe mid poke, it can hold down to go to full crouch, or you can do down one two, a safe mid ender, plus six on hit, knock down on counter hit for a free follow up. Not quite the range as Paul's, they used to be identical once upon a time, but still a really good quick low hitting poke. Down 3 is a safe I-22 ground hitting power mid, slams on hit, usually reserved for Oki but not terrible for the occasional neutral pressure use. Down 4 is an I-12 high crushing low poke with incredible tracking and decent range, only negative 2 on hit so still good for continuing pressure or setups. Generic toe kicks will never not be good for controlling pace and space so use often. 
Down back two is an I-23 high crushing power low. Very unsafe at negative 18, but plus six on hit. The speed is the big weakness, but if you hide it well, since it's the same speed and similar animation as back two, you can make good use of it. Back 1 is an I-15 homing attack, back 1 by itself is unsafe, but back 1 too is a safe natural combo, although it does end high. If they're swinging into that second hit for some reason, you can get a full combo on counter hit. You can also cancel into your power mid palms, so it's a pretty tricky string. Back 2 is an incredibly safe I-22 wall bouncing power mid. Mentioned before as a compliment to down back 2, you can tell the difference between the two, but it's very hard to do in a real match. Negative 2 on block, just like 1 back 2, so plenty of options on block. Really strong mid and one of the best wall bouncers in the game. Back 4 is a safe I-18 knockdown splatting homing mid, also launches on counter hit and has nice range. Honestly, there's very little downside other than perhaps losing your turn on block. Up forward 3-4 is the classic hunting hawk I-28 low crushing launch string plus 3 on block for the second hit which means down forward 1 at worst will trade with a crouch jab but it sets you up nicely for a 1 back 2 counter hit trap or something similar. Hay doesn't have a hop kick so this is what you got but what it lacks in speed it makes up for in everything else. Up forward 4 is a very safe I-25 low crushing knockdown splatting power mid. Another hop kick alternative, just be careful as it has garbage tracking. Forward 4 2 is an I-19 long range mid launcher. Hits grounded, so excellent for Oki. Extreme pushback, so at negative 16 some characters cannot punish it, and even those who can can sometimes still whiff at max range. Does big damage, goes under highs, just overall extremely powerful. If you notice your opponent is not punishing this properly or can't, spam this move until the sun sets. Forward 4 3 is a safe I-20 mid launcher, classic Mishima move, you'll use this often in your crouch dash game, but negative 3 at worst on block, so again, another move that sets up defensive options nicely. Back 4 2 is a safe I-15 mid with 3 natural combo enders, back 4 2 1 and back 4 2 3 are both safe knockdown splatters that end high, back 4 2 2 ends mid, negative 12 on block but leaves them full crouch so not terrible against most characters. Counter hit back 4 2 2 is also a launcher so if they're getting too happy with buttons you can catch a combo now and then, not an oppressive string but still useful for occasional string mine games and can be particularly lethal at the wall. Generic running 3, a low crushing power mid, I-22 but big active window, minimum plus 9 on block, knockdown splat on hit, and can easily be done out of crouch dash. Just an overall great pressure tool. Hayes Rage Drives are souped up versions of his 1 back 2 and back 2 moves, juggle on hit plus 9 on block and forces crouch. The 1 back 2 version is especially scary since it's a natural combo on counter hit so it gives you a completely safe attempt at catching an I-10 counter hit combo. But it's useful for juggles too since using it as an ender will give you a ground stun for a free hit. This brings us to the end of part 1. We hope this list helps you focus on Hayes' most important neutral moves. In part 2, we'll talk more about other aspects of his game plan to help you put it all together. Expect that here in a couple of days. And with that, thank you for checking out this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe here on YouTube. Also be sure to turn on notifications if you'd like to get alerted as soon as a new vid is uploaded. I also try to stream whenever I can, so the link to Twitch is down in the video description below. You will find Twitter and Facebook links down there too. Lastly, special thanks to our three patrons, Tato, Apples, and Overhaul. That support means a lot. Patreon is definitely the best way to support your favorite content creators, and the more support the channel gets, the more content I can afford to do. Stay safe everyone, and we'll see you next time.